still getting asked how to improve the signal on the Mavic Air. DJI chooses to put the US on FCC mode while the rest of the world gets to use CE mode. As you can see, CE mode has about half the power output of FCC. Australia actually allows a 30 decibel millibot maximum power output, so this does not put us out of the regulations over here. There is some confusion that CE mode had 13 available channels. Sadly, there's no easy way to see if you're in CE or FCC mode. Here's how you can change it to FCC mode for free if you use a Mac and an iPhone or iPad. To start, download Xcode. It's free, but it's a big download. Start a new project, single view app. Give it a name and sign it into your iTunes account. You don't need to be a developer for this. Plug in your iPhone or iPad and make sure it's selected and hit the play button at the top left. You'll get a white screen since we didn't actually add anything to the app. Here we are in Australia. Back to Xcode and if you click on the arrow you can simulate a preset location. Let's pick somewhere in the US. You can see the location dot moves right away and now we're in San Francisco. I'm connecting to the air directly with Wi-Fi while the device is still connected to Xcode. Hold down the back button for a few seconds to get the double beep. And connect to the air Wi-Fi network. Now when we start DJI Go, it asks us to switch Wi-Fi settings. In this case, it's already on CE from before and now it thinks we're in the US. So click OK here to switch it to FCC mode. It'll reset, so reconnect to the Wi-Fi or switch it off. To reconnect the controller, hold down the back button to get the single beep, then hold the right trigger button and the front two pause and FN buttons on the controller. It'll beep a bit, and then the controller will show solid green when connected. I did get the US quiz before flight, which is the same nine questions as the Australian version, just with the US localization. Now my device knows it's back in Australia. You will get this switch Wi-Fi settings pop up each time, and you'll need to hit cancel each time, but that's a small price to pay for smoother, uninterrupted video feed. Enjoy lag-free flying and longer range.